Hi Flosstube, I'm back. I'm Needlecraft Danny, and uh, this will be my Flosstube video number four. Um, welcome to everyone watching. Um, I hope you will enjoy. As a warning, this will be kind of a longer video because I have a lot to tell. Um, yeah, so let's start, then we, we can do it. Um, first, I wanted to tell you a bit uh, about what, what happened uh, during the last two weeks um, in my life. Because, uh, as I told you last time, we were going on vacation. Um, the reason we were going was uh, I had my birthday and um, my boyfriend said we should go to Dublin. <laughs> Um, for two nights, uh, we decided to go to Dublin. We both had, um, or he had his weekend. I had a um, extended weekend, so I had some more free time. Um, so um, he told me we were going to Dublin, and in Dublin, I will get my super surprise birthday present. Um, so we booked the flights, we booked the hotel, and um, then we went to Dublin, and. Um, on, on the way to our hotel, we drove by a Bon Jovi um, ad about his 2019 tour. And that's when I realized we were going on a Bon Jovi concert. <laughs> I'm a really big Bon Jovi fan. Um, so it was the perfect birthday present. I did not know that he was in Dublin. Um, but he was in Dublin the day of my birthday and we were there. Um, it, it's been so great. It's been raining all day or um, during the concert as well. It's been raining nearly all the time. But it was so much fun. He played for, I think, two and a half hours and I had a blast. It was just, it was really cool. The next day... Um, we then went to Dublin, just explored Dublin, and I think we were um, on the go for 12 hours. We got out of the hotel in the morning at 10 a.m. and came back like 10.30 p.m. Um, and we just wandered around, uh, looked at everything, did um, a tour through the Guinness storehouse. I love Dublin. It's a really cool city. It's, it's sad that we only had that one day um, because the next day we flew back. Um, it's really sad we only had that one day because I think in Dublin you can spend like a week and still have fun and it's a cool city. Um, it's kind of an, an old city. They have lots of old houses and churches and stuff. So I kind of like that, that kind of cities. And so it was just really great um, and I really enjoy it. Yeah, um, so really cool weekend. I actually did a lot of stitching this weekend or on um, that weekend because um, we live in a smaller city with kind of a small airport and they did not have a direct flight to Dublin. Um, so we had to go via Frankfurt and um, on the way to Dublin and back, we had uh, two hours or about two hours in Frankfurt each time. So at the airport, I sat and stitched. Um, on the plane, I stitched on the way back as well. Uh, on the way to Dublin, we were just too tired. tired. We both uh, slept both flights. Um, the day before my birthday, uh, my boyfriend had to work until 11 p.m. So we decided we just stay up till midnight, um, pack our stuff for Dublin. And then there was, were like 10 minutes left to my birthday and we decided to, to stay up. Um, so at midnight, I opened up um, some of the presents uh, his parents um, had already sent. And um, my grandmother gave me something um, in May when we visited them. So I had some packages and I opened them and um, then I wrote my boyfriend's mom to, to thank her. And uh, then they asked if I could call and they called and we talked. And uh, after that, um, 
my boyfriend's sister called um, to congratulate me and I talked with her and I think it was about 1.30 in the morning when we finally got to bed and we had to get up at 3.45 a.m. to catch our flight. So we had about two hours of sleep, <laughs> one hour um, on the way to Frankfurt and about two hours on our way to Dublin and that's just not enough. Um, so when we arrived in Dublin and got to our hotel, we um, unpacked and then got out and got something to, to, to eat. Uh, we had a great pizza. Um, and then we went back to the hotel and slept for two hours until we had to go to the Bon Jovi concert. Um, so on the way to Dublin, I had nearly no stitching, but that's okay. Um, sleep is more important. <laughs> um, yeah, but our, on our way back, I stitched um, two hours in Frankfurt and I stitched, I think, the whole uh, flight back to from Dublin to Frankfurt. Um, and yeah, I got a lot done. And when we get home, my boyfriend, well, I stitched on the plane and at the airport, he played on our Nintendo Switch. Um, so when we got home, he wanted to finish some things on his game and we sat just next to each other. I watched him play his game and stitched um, and he just played his game. So cool evening. <laughs> um, yeah, um, that was the weekend. So let's get into them. Um, because I had so much stitching time the day we went back and uh, during the flights, I had to finish. Um, I only took the Hello Pumpkin cell with me. Um, month two came out three days prior to my birthday. So um, when I decided what to take with me, I put one length of thread in. It was a short length and I put that one in. And then I stitched the day we went there a little bit. And when we flew back and the day afterwards, I finished. So um, technically, I would say I finished in three or four days, if you count those little days as whole days. Um, I love this project. It's just, I'm stitching this on um, 28 count. I would say it's Lugana. It was the fabric provided um, in the kit. One over one, full crosses. And I just, I love the colors. They're really vibrant. Um, there are not so many colors, so I think 14 colors, that's perfect to, for a to-go project. Um, and yeah, that's why I finished real fast and that's what it looks like. So I'm curious to see if we go upwards next or on this side. I think there are uh, three months left, so I would say over here, there and there. So we'll see where we go next. I love this cute little owl. Oh, this cute little owl. Sorry, my English is sometimes not the best. Um, <laughs> it's really cute. I had really fun stitching it. Um, even on the plane, it was not a problem because um, I stitch in hand. And I have it as a roll and start, start, start stitching. Sorry. Um, so I just have it like this. And because it's not so wide, I don't disturb anyone sitting next to me because I can lean onto the window. Or even if I sit in the middle, it's just I can hold it in front of me and it's not wider than my body. So um, perfect for something like this. But now I have to wait about a month, um, at, on the 18th of July, I think, um, the next part is coming out. Since then, can't stitch on this one. But that's okay. Um, it's a small project and um, I finished, so I decided I need another small project. Um, I have to search for the picture. I paused this quickly and then I showed Okay, I found a picture. Um, I started something new again. Um, 
It's the jo Joyful World Cell by uh, the Sunflower Diaries. Um, it's on her blog. Um, those are freebies and um, you can as well join the Facebook uh, group. Um, and there you can get the patterns and stuff. So um, I started with July, so I can finish in June. Um, and maybe have it on display in July. The problem is um, I wanted to stitch with the general art, um, what are they called? The gentle art uh, threads, um, which are the call for threads. I don't want uh, to order them in the US or in the UK because they take, well, from the US they take about a month and I have to pay customs. From the UK they take about a week. Um, so I searched for a German uh, shop and I found an online shop in Germany and I ordered all my gentle art threads um, for July, August and September and one color for January because I wasn't sure where to start. Problem was um, they did not have every color yet. So for July, I'm missing only one color. Um, that's okay with me. Um, I just wait till I get it. So um, July is supposed to look like this. I think in here the, the colors are changed a little bit, but um, that's about how it's supposed to look. Um, and I... One moment. I am this far. Um, so I kind of color complete. Yeah, I kind of color com complete. Um, and if I do one color a day, I can finish till the 30th of June, which is perfect. But then there will be one color missing. Um, the color missing is filling up some of the, the blanks in the border and um, on this side, I think, um, some stems of the flowers. So, yeah, I kind of hope it's, it gets back online soon so I can order it um, and then finish the July piece. So today... I was think, thinking about uh, putting the pink in for the flamingos, um, but I have to see, I have to work today, now doing the video, I have to edit, um, I think I have to take a nap before I get to work because I have to work until 11pm and I'm a bit tired already, so I probably take a nap and maybe I'm, I'm taking another, another color. Um, with where I don't have to stitch as much as with the pink. Not sure yet. Um, yeah, that's the joyful world cell. Um, and then I have another start. <laughs> I kind of like starting new things. Um, this one is my Lalek Fairy, the Vavaco, um kit. This one, that's what it's supposed to look like. I showed you in my last video as a haul. Um, I bought it, I think, on Saturday and filmed on Sunday. Um, and I had a real problem not starting it before the video. I wanted to show you as haul, but it was really hard for me not to start. Um, so after I filmed and edited the video, the first thing I did was starting the Lalek Fabric. So, I really like how this piece works, um, because, okay, I'll just show you where I am, that's where I am, um, I started in the middle, around here, worked my way up through her hair, and then there's a swirl um, of her wing, I think, um, and then I just got into the, the flowers and um, finishing now top left to top right and then I'm going down. Um, I just love how this piece works. Um, 
And I'm gonna just, just take um, one thread on my needle and work my way through till the thread runs out. So that's why there are some single stitches or only some stitches over there. Um, I love how they work because in my dimensions kit, um, you have like for the background, you're stitching half stitches only. In this one, they kind of play with coverage. Um, so the, the provided fabric is 14 count ADA. And um, normally all the things you stitch um, two over one full crosses. But for the background, um, you stitch one over one full crosses. So that's why I think um, the flowers really pop out of the background. Um, and it's just really fun to stitch because you kind of, it does not mix together and you don't have to backstitch the flowers because they already pop out, even if they're really similar colors over here. I think they really pop. Um, yeah, that's where I am with this one. So the plan is to, to finish all the flowers. I nearly finished the all the red flowers. I think those are missing and the rest is done. Um, yeah, really like the piece. Um, as you can see, I did a lot in two weeks um, since I started it. Um, that's just, it's just fun, a fun stitch. I like stitching on Ada. Um, it's easy, um, especially when I watch FlossTube or TV or something. It's really easy to stitch or take this one and stitch. Um, yeah, and it looks really cool. Good thing I don't have to backstitch. I mean, I don't hate backstitch or something like that. I just, it's a lot of work when you feel like you already finished the piece. So that's uh, kind of good that there's not that much of backstitching that has to be done because they already pop. Um, yeah, that's Lilac Fairy. Is there anything else? No. No. Oh. One thing, um, it's a kit and there's metallic thread in, and the thre metallic thread um, will be done in her skirt. And I'm thinking of kind of um, completing the flowers and the background over here and then going into her and her um, wings and stuff. Working my way down over here, um, there's only the fabric, so I ha don't have to stitch this. And then maybe going into the butterflies and then into her skirt. Because I think it's the most fun part. I know a lot of people say they don't like uh, working with metallic threads, especially not the DMC. Um, I never tried. So I probably won't take it as the last thing to do. Just because I don't want to sit there and have to do the metallic thread because I don't have anything else left. But as one of the la last thing things I think I want to do metallic thread and then um, yeah at the moment I'm as soon as I come home I uh, and my boyfriend's not there because he uh, I had early shifts and he had late shifts so um, sometimes it's uh, when we cross each other on the road because I'm driving home and he's driving to work we just wave at each other and that's all we see of each other the whole day. Um, the last three, few days I had really early shifts and he had the really late shift, so we saw each other two hours at home. And as soon as he leaves the house, I'm uh, starting stitching on a joyful world cell until I finished my color of the day. And then I went to the lilac ferry and just stitched on this one till the evening. Um, during work, um, if I have a longer lunch break or not that much to do, sorry, just yeah. Um, I normally take the dragon because um, it's an easy stitch as well. Um, it's also on folding count Ada, and um, I only need one color. I did not yet start on the flower, so I really only need one color. Um, that's kind of cool taken to work with me because I don't have to take a whole box of DMCs or stuff, just... 
So that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> that's the first one I've already finished. And now I started on the second one and on his head and working my way down over here into his face and his tongue and then just sometimes I get like two hours at work and I think yesterday I did not a single stitch. So it's it's like it is and um, I'm happy that I even have sometimes the opportunity to stitch on my work so that's okay with me. I don't have to stitch uh, at work. I'm going to work not for stitching but for work. So it's totally okay. Um, yeah, that's my little bro progress on the dragon. I have to work in a late shift today. So I'm taking him uh, with me again. We'll see if I get some progress or not. Um, that's this one. Yeah, the other small piece is Tiger Chilling Out. Dimensions kit uh, designed by Matthew Hiller. As I said last time, I need daylight and yeah, I have the lilac fairy now <laughs> and I'm really in love with that one. So there's not as much progress on the tiger as there had, uh, as there could be, but I finished the column I started and um, I always forget. I want to show you um, pictures where it has been last time. So. I insert a picture of what the dragon, uh, sorry, what the tiger looked like last time. I insert here. Um, so this is what it looks like now. I think I completed this column and that's it. Um, I usually pick one color or the next color in the column um, which is missing and then just run with the thread until it runs out. So with this here I had I think two or three stitches in my column and then I just worked my way up because in all those columns this color is not uh, not there anymore. So I worked my way up his head and yeah I like the progress but still a lot to do. Um, it looks like a small piece Brought the paper and do not use it. Um, it looks like a small piece, or for me it looked like a small piece, and I realize more and more it is not a small piece. <laughs> it will take a long time. Um, and as I said last time, I, I need daylight for this one, so it's not like I can come home and say from a late shift and say, well, I don't know what to stitch on, I just take the tiger. Um, it's a small one that's just not working um so yeah i have to see um at the end of the video i want to show you i established kind of a whip rotation for next month so i'll explain you a bit later on and this will reappear so yesterday in the evening i really wanted to stitch on a full coverage piece. I did a lot of the Lilac Fairy and it's kind of full coverage, but it's not. Um, and especially with the one over one on 14 count, it does not look like full coverage. Um, so I wanted to do something <clears throat> on a full coverage piece. And I brought out the Colorado Mountains by Golden Kite. Um, yeah, last time you saw this, I had like this tiny bit of a corner. Um, so I show you a picture where I was last time. And here it is now. Where it is it? Um, I kind of like it. At first, when I started with the... Oops, first 10 on 10 block over here, I was like, okay, that's not blue as the sky, that's turquoise, and I don't know I sh if I like the colors, but now it's 
it's really okay. Um, I'm doing this now, 25 count, two over one half stitches because I restarted. At first I did two over two, uh, two over one four crosses. Just was too bulky, so now two over one half stitches. Um, and I like it. So this is the end of the page down here. So that's why I parked the threads on the next page. And those colors, those parked threads, were not uh, used in the column anymore, so I parked them in the next. And I do this on all of my projects, basically. I pick the next color missing in the column, complete the column, and then park it either below or in the next, where it fits best. Um, I feather in if there's like um, the, the column break in between two stitches of the same color. I just um, go over the, the column and I do the same on pages if I'm that far. Uh, yeah, so that's Colorado Mountains. And all my pack threads fell out. So, um, no, those are not all. Uh, last time, or last two weeks ago, before the last video, I told you I started um, an event rose by um, Heaven and Earth Designs, artwork Rachel Anderson. Um, sorry. It's this one. I told you I started, and I did, like a few stitches. i show you a picture of where it was last time here. Um, there were only a few stitches in, and I did not do a lot. I stitched this on 28 count, 2 over 1 half stitches, and I just finished up the thread. So, now it looks like that. I think that's the end of the page, but I'm not completely sure, and I don't have to chart with me. So, can tell you. But I think it's kind of the end of the page over there. And I think I already went into the next column a bit with a few stitches from the bottom up. Normally I work from top to bottom, um, but because I'm doing half stitches only and not full crosses, I can also um, work from bottom to top. So I went with my thread from top to bottom, reached the end of the page, had some thread left, so I just went upwards again. Um, yeah, so that's my... Mini Winter Rose, not a lot of progress on her. Um, and that's everything I've worked on stitching related. Um, I worked a bit on my diamond painting. As I said last time, I wanted to kind of finish half of it, and I did. So that's oops, half of my diamond painting. You can see it's better. So last time I told you um, it's a heart with two skulls looking at each other. And when I finished half of it, my boyfriend was at work. So I sent him a picture and told him, yeah, the skull's nearly done. And he wrote, where's the skull? Uh, he couldn't find it. And um, he had a break at the time with a friend. And she also said, I can't see any skull. <laughs> so I realized I uh, probably should show you again. Maybe you did not see it as well. Um, <laughs> so the skull, the first one, has his eye here, the nose bone about there, and there are his teeth. I hope you can see. Um, I don't know how to explain it any better. Um, I don't have a cover picture, so I can't show you what it's looking like, non-painted, but programmed. Um, so I kind of hope you see a skull. If you're not, well, I hope you see it when it's finished. Um, because there's a lot done on the skull already, so I'm kind of thinking what happens when I finished and 
nobody can see. That would be just a bit devastating. Um, I hope that um, you can see when it's finished. It's just, I hope. We'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all my whips. Let's get to haul. Because last week or two weeks ago, nearly, I had my birthday. I was, and I started stitching like three months ago, so I don't have a lot of stash. Um, I was like buying, buying, buying because, well, it's my birthday. I kind of gift myself some things. Um, and then they took so long they, um, from the US, they take about one month or even more. So I just ordered more. And then realized I should definitely stop. I have a lot going. Um, it all is still arriving. So one um, package, I think it's from one to three stitch with uh, my Raven Queen stuff. Not sure, but I think. Because it arrived on Friday. Uh, we weren't home. So I have to pay customs and they took it to the post office. So on Friday evening. I went there to ask if it arrived. It did not yet. That's been okay with me because um, you get a piece of paper and there stood that it would arrive on Saturday um, at 8 a.m. I think. But Saturday I had to work the whole day so um, I knew I couldn't get it then. So Friday it wasn't there. So my boyfriend went on Saturday to ask if it arrived. It did not. Now it's Monday. Um, it's 9.30 a.m. And I already been to the post office, but it did not yet arrive. So um, she now said she's going to call me as soon as it arrives. Um, I hope it will arrive um, like until... 1 p.m. or something, then I can get it um, because then I have to get to work. So I just hope I can still get it today and not tomorrow because I'm waiting on it for Friday um, and ordered it, I think, a month ago or over a month ago. Um, it would be cool to have it, <laughs> but I still have some hope. Um, so I have 32 count Belfast Linen, linen White Opalescent. I have it two times. I can take it out of the package, I would say. Then you can see it better. Um, can you see the sparkle? Yeah, a bit. Um, this one I ordered um, specifically for a project and those are for the uh, Royal Games. So the haul I showed you last time, the Mirabilia Royal Games 1 and 2. Um, I have all the beads and I think all the floss as well because they only um, asked for DMC and some Krennic. And um, I got the Krennic, um, I'll show you in a second. I got the Krennic um, in Germany, so it took two days until I arrived. That's perfect. It's a bit devastating to know you can get stuff from Germany in such a t short time, um, but as soon as you have to get it from somewhere else, it takes over a month. And some things I just don't get in Germany. It's just not possible to get it here. Yeah. A sad thing. <laughs> um, second thing is also Belfast Linen. Um, 32 count. Um, Silver Moon is the color called. And I yeah, I already used this one for my Joyful World cell. So for on one package, there are the inches 19 on 27 inch. Um, I can fit two of the Joyful World uh, months. So I need, all in all, I need three of them. But I have some time till I get the next ones. So I did not order them yet. I will 
someday, but not yet. Um, I'm missing some Krynek for my winter ro uh, mini winter rose, and I think for some other projects I'm missing stuff too. So that's when I'm going to order um, the linen as well. Um, there's no hurry behind it because, as I said, four months. Um, so I can fit July, August, September, and October. So I will need it in October when I want to start uh, November. So, some time left. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's um, all of the fabric I got. Then we have the chronic. Um, for oops, for the Royal Games, I just do it like this. Um, yeah, they're not that way. Okay, how do I do? Uh, a bit better, yes. Ah, there, that's good. So those are all the cranics I need. Um, and I think there's just DMC um, needed and nothing more. So, yeah, I think I could start them. The beads I already have because I ordered the charts and the embellishment packs at, um, at once. So, we'll see. Um, then for the Joyful World cell. Um, I ordered the gentle art threads I need. Um, so those are the ones I need for um, July. That's Dungeries, Harvest Moon, I already used this one, Sweet Petunia, um, that's yeah. But that um, that's for the top of the flamingo, I think. Um, brandy. Well, not working. Brandy. Uh, Liberty. Put them away. Um, this one is Shutter Green. I love the variegation in this one. And I already sipped with this. Um, and I just. I really like this color. Um, this one is Onyx. Uh, apple cider for all the borders and stuff. So I will need a bit more of this one for July. It's enough, but I think late for August I will need um, some more because you use it for the border and for the name of the month. So yeah. This one is Ruby Slipper. Okay, the colors, they just look perfect and now they're just not at all. I think that's working. Um, bittersweet and Rhubarb. So that's all the colors for July. Um, I, as I said, one is missing. Um, I already got the colors for August and September because um, if you order them now or if I have ordered I think more than 50 euros then I wouldn't have to pay shipping so I did that because at some point I do need them so why not at once. That's Sugar Plum. Oops. That's sugar plum. <laughs> this one is toasted barley and daffodil. I think those are the August thread. August threads. I'm for August and September. There were some colors missing as well. I think more than for July. And some of the July colors are in the August. And I think September ones too. So those are the extra ones I need for I think August. And those are some of the extras I need for September. This one is tomato, brick path, um, gold leaf, a dope. 
Portabella and Frequent Clubs. I think this one is September um, because as far as I have seen, um, you have like all the winter months together, the same color palette and um, so for the spring, summer and autumn colors and um, from August to September we're going into the autumn. So um, there are some different colors or a different color palette. Um, yeah, those are, oh, and one I have left, as I said, I uh, wasn't sure whether to start with January or July, <coughs> decided for July, but had uh, Daisy already ordered for January. That's that one. So <coughs> those are all the gentle art threads. I have to sort them later on here. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, <clears throat> then I got something I told you last time. Sharice um, got um, or won some auction at um, Michelle Benistici. It's doing auctions on Instagram every week. Um, and this time I are, um, was part of the auction and I lost two times against Theresa C. So, um, nevertheless, she said she does not need the charts. There it was a whole package of, of uh, things and she said she don't need the charts. So Michelle could send them to me if she would like. And as I had um, some things on Michelle's or Bendy D stash on Instagram, um, she just put it all in one package and sent to me. So the charts Sharice left me um, were the barefoot. Uh, are from Barefoot Needle Art, the crust patterns, um, cap wearability, and shapes of autism. And oops, I really like those ones. I don't know why, I just, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> I'm a big fan of puzzles, so they kind of tricked me. So, yeah, those are those. At, uh, those are small projects as well, so I <clears throat> can do them on a lunch break or something as soon as I finish dragging on. Mm. I don't plan on studying any more books because I have now 10 on the go and that's enough for the time. I don't, or I want to finish some things someday um, and if I start new things all the time, that's just not possible. So the things I got from the D stash are, uh, get it out. Um, this one is Joy. I don't know if it's officially called like that, but for me it's Joy. It's a little Christmas baggy. It's really small, um, but that's a good thing because it's a small thing, a uh, small stitch. All the threads, charms, beads and ribbons are in there and that's what it's supposed to look like. We'll see whenever I start it. Um, if I do it for Christmas for my grandparents or something like that. Um, because, But for my grandparents it's complicated but uh, because they can't speak English so I try to not do English stuff for them for Christmas. My, I mean it's only joy I can tell them what it means but yeah, I try to not do it. <laughs> so that's this one, and I got another kit. It's the uh, from Millhill, the Treasured Holly, the sampler kit. Looks like this one. Um, yeah, all the beads, all the the floss is uh, in there, as well as the fabric. Uh, it's a 28 count fabric, or even weave, I think. And the little snowman. Isn't he cute? He goes right in the middle of the chart. <laughs> yeah, really cute one. Um, and that's this kit. And then I got some, um, when I ordered, what did I order? The Krennic. I could order it in, in Germany and when I went through the site, um, I discovered a few, a few things I wanted to have. Um, 
And it was my birthday. <laughs> Lebanon lace autumn. Um, the Celtic autumn. I want to have all four of them. But I decided to just get this one. Maybe start some of my Berberbillias first. Maybe finish some of my projects. And then I can get to this one. But I really like how it turns out um, when it's stitched. I don't have anything for this one yet. So there are needle points, pretty treasure bread, little, little beads. They're all needed. I don't have um, linen yet. So it has time, but I like it. And someday I'm going to stitch this one. Um, I got another Mirabilia. I was browsing through the site and saw the Mirabilia charts and I don't know what it is with Mirabilia. I always find something. <clears throat> I did not have her on my list about things I want to have. I got her nevertheless. It's Ella the Frog Princess. I um, So far I have or I had three Mirabilia charts. Um, Sorry, I'm sitting on the floor and it's just, yeah, better. Um, I had three Mirabilia charts and none of them had a really big dress. And she has, and I think that's the thing that triggered me. And here we go. I love fairy tales. So <clears throat> with the frog, it's kind of reminding me of fairy tales and stuff. It's a really cool thing. Love this one. And I'm a week. Before ordering, I think another floss tuber, I don't know who it was, um, showed this chart and I was just like, okay, I do want this one. And But I forgot, um, forgot about it again and uh, did not browse for it on one, two, three stitch or something. So I went to my German <clears throat> site where I get most of my things. Um, I can link below if you like. Um, yeah, and I found it. It's this one. Sleepy Hollow, Glendon Place. Uh, designed by Gerald, Gr uh, Gerald Granda. I really love this chart. I mean, it's a big one. There's <laughs> um, the instructions are like a whole page. But I think it's a really cool piece. I mean, I can take my time with this one. I'm not that much of a Halloween um, person, but I just love this chart. It's just, there's something about it. Um, I especially love this moon and how bright it is. So I want to stitch someday, but there's no hurry. Uh, even less hurry with, um, with this one than with the Celtic Autumn. So... I have it. <laughs> it's mine. Um, I'm building some stash and yeah, someday I'm going to stitch it up. <laughs> yeah, that's my haul. And then <clears throat> I established a rotation for July because in July, or I have to start with, I now um, started to enter some of the cross stitch Facebook groups. And um, also as Needlecraft Danny. Um, and I entered the full coverage phonetics. And I have two challenges for July. I want to participate in. Um, the first one is the 90 days uh, challenge. So you stitch on a piece, on a full coverage piece, because it's the full coverage phonetics group. You stitch on a full coverage piece every day for 90 days. So it starts 1st of July and ends 30th of September. Um, it doesn't matter how many stitches you put in. You have to do at least one stitch. Um, yeah, and for 90 days. And the second uh, challenge I want to participate in is the Tour de France stitching challenge. So the Tour de France um, starts as Think on or have it here. Um, starts on the sixth on the sixth of July and lasts till um, the twenty eighth twenty eighth of July. 
And during this time, you have two rest days, um, and you kind of, um, or they have can two rest days, and you stitch one stitch or one full cross for each kilometer they ride. Um, if you do 10 stitches, you have to um, double the stitches you do. Um, so it, it kind of varies. Sometimes they're doing 280 kil kil kilometers and more, I think. I had it somewhere. Or about 200 kilometers a day or above 200 kilometers a day. And um, so you have to do more than 200 stitches this day. Or they're doing 28. Um, those are the days you can catch up if you like. They have two rest days, so you can play catch up on those days as well. Um, you just have to upload a photo after every part of the stitching. So the first day, they ride 192 kilometers, so you have to do 192 stitches. And after that, you update a video, what you did. Um, so those are the two challenges. And um, I talked to my boyfriend. Um, if I can do it, um, to just spend July stitching <laughs> every few minutes and <laughs> just stitching. Um, and it's okay because uh, one of his friends from the US is visiting and he will be spending a time, a lot of time with, the, with him. And yeah, so I said I have to do a rotation, otherwise, I just um, don't get to the things I want to stitch on. Because normally I just pick what I want to stitch on and stitch until I don't want to stitch on this project anymore. And if I feel like stitching, nevertheless, I just take another project. Sometimes I'm doing five projects a day because I can't decide or even more. Um, and sometimes I just stick to one. So for those two challenges where I have to stitch on two projects minimum a day, um, that's when I decided I kind of want to have a rotation. So I wrote a, wrote a plan. So I have my challenges up here and which projects I'm going to use. So for the 90 days um, challenge, I'm using my minimum to rose, have number of designs on a work by Rachel Anderson. Um, my plan, I don't know if I can do it, but my plan is to do 100 stitches on her every day. Um, I'm not doing blocks, I just take the next color and stitch as long as the third goes. So this one will start on 1st of July and then I have five days trying to work out a good way of counting my stitches because I never did it. But for the second challenge, I need to do it. So I have to kind of work, work a way out if I can do it or not. Um, and the first five days will be part of this one. Um, so. That's Mini Winter Rose, the 90 days challenge. For the Tour de France, Tour de France stitching challenge, I decided to go with the Norwegian ship under sail, small edition by Golden Kite. As I said last time, I really love this project, so I want to have some progress in there. Um, this one I'm stitching on 18 count Ada, two over one full crosses. It's a big roll, big roll of fabric. Um, I just show you where I am now. So, um, there we go. I'm in the first column. I did not do a lot of this on this one, and I did not stitch, I think, for over two weeks. I did not stitch on this one. But I like the project, and as I said, I want to have some progress in there because um, my boyfriend likes it too, and so maybe, maybe. Um, someday we're going to hang it in our apartment or something like that. So that's something I want to get progress in. So for my rotation, I um, went through, put all the dates up, and then I wrote um, AS, that's uh, work in a late shift, um, AT, 
is work in a day shift, so starting like at 10 a.m. and working until um, 6 in the evening or something like that. So I don't like day shifts normally because, um, yeah, well, you get to sleep in, but then you get up, get to work and come back late in the evening. In the evening. I don't like that as much as I do late shifts or early shifts. Uh, early shifts I have over here, for example. So um, I went through and wrote every day MBR, mini winter rows, um, all the days. Then I just uh, went there and put um, as soon as it started NSUS, that's Norwegian ship under sail, and um, in the brackets I put how many stitches I have to do this day. Um, yeah, that's um, that. So for the working days, I put one of my smaller projects um, in the whole week for all working days. If I finish the Norwegian ship under sail and the mini uh, winter rose, my stitches that I want to do this day or have to do, um, and I still have time and I still want to stitch, then I put out one of the, the little projects. Little project. Um, first week it's the dragon, second week it's my lavender garden, um, the kit, the, the first kit I ever bought. Um, that's the tablecloth and you stitch around. Um, the third week, tiger chilling out. And in week number four, it's, those are three days, it's the lilac fairy. Um, for work, I will always take my dragon. So even if in the weeks where another small project is signed, I just take the dragon to work. If I have the time to stitch at work, um, it's just the easiest progress, uh, the easiest project to take with me um, and stitch on at work because it's only one color. Um, so those are my working days. Just the two projects I want to work on because of the challenges and another small project if I still feel like stitching. For the three days um, where I don't have to work, of course, the two challenges. So. Mini Winter Rose and Norwegian Ship on the Sail. And then I decided to put my cells in there. So in July, I want to finish the Joyful World cell for August, obviously. Um, so all the three days, starting here, there are two, and down here the next two. Yeah, um, so till the 17th, 17th of July. Um, I always have the Joyful World cell in. If I finish somewhere here, I did a Tiny Decisions. Um, on the Tiny Decisions app, I put a wheel in with all the missing projects. That was just a Jimmy Sweep by Golden Kite and I think the Colorado Mountains. Um, so I pushed the button and what came out and for each weekend um, I wrote what came out. So three, four weekends, four weekends in a row, it was Germany Sweep. Woo! <laughs> as soon as I finished my, with the Joyful World Cell, I'm switching to Germany Sweep. Um, on the 18th of July, the next piece of my Hello Pumpkin Cell will come out. And so the next weekend, that's the 22nd um, of July, I have, I'm having my weekend from Monday to Wednesday. And there's the Hello Pumpkin cell after my mini winter rose, because that's a rest day for the Norwegian ship and the sail for the stitch, um, Tour de France stitching challenge. There's a rest day. So after mini winter rose, I can get started on Hello Pumpkin cell. As soon as I finish the Hello Pumpkin cell, I'm switching to one of the other projects, and again, it's the Germany Sweep. And the weekend after that, um, Colorado Mountains came up in the Tiny Decisions wheel. Starting there, um, the Tour de France Stitching st uh, Challenge is already done. It ends the 28th 
of um, July. So it's done there. And I only have the mini winter rose and my Hello Pumpkins I'll enter after the Colorado Mountains if I finish Hello Pumpkins there. Or if I just don't feel it anymore, I doubt it. But if that's the case, I can switch to Colorado Mountains uh, as well and just go back to Hello Pumpkins sale the next day. So that's my plan. I'm going to see if I can stick with it, um, how much time it takes. Especially the 100 stitches on my mini winter rows, especially when I have to count the stitches. Um, I mean, the, the Norwegian ship and the sail I want to complete um, during the whole month uh, because it's only one month. And um, yeah, as I said, some days it's only 28 stitches and stuff. So I think I can do this one. The mini winter rows. I really have to see if I take if it takes like two or three hours for my 100 stitches. I don't think I'm going to do 100 stitches the whole month or even in August. That's just kind of not worth it. And so we'll see with that one. But for now, that's the plan. And we're going to see how it works. Um, I plan to do a video next week on Monday. That would be the 1st of July, so I will already be stitching on my mini winter rows and thereafter as my small project, the dragon. I don't know if I can film on Monday because um, my boyfriend will probably at home and I don't film if he's at home. Um, that's I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like having me speaking to myself, kind of. Um, sitting in front of my laptop and he's in the next room. I mean, of course we can close the doors, but it feels a bit strange. So I prefer to do it when he's not at home. So at the moment he's at sports, I can film. Um, but in July, the gym he's going to Monday mornings um, is closed. So yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks everyone for watching. If you Hang through. I know it's a really long video. I'm sorry. Um, but there was just a lot of things I wanted to tell you. So thank you for hanging through. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful week stitching.